Oh my goodness, guys! Welcome back to the channel, and of course it's Friday, and that can only mean one thing. It's time to delve inside the fridge of commercial craft beer, pick one out. <coughs> Frog in the throat! Pick one out, and see what we think about it. Today we have, well we have this one. This is a bottle of Raff from, well, uh, Berada Mer. It's an Italian brewery, I think it's brewed in Rome, and... Everything I have searched for when looking for this, to try and research what beer it is, is in uh, Italian. So I found a very small amount of information uh, and found out that it's a smoked beer. So let's crack into it and see what we think. So it's 6% and it's a smoked ale. So, nice hiss. Oh wow. Crikey me. Definitely is a smoke tail. Let's get it poured out and see what we think. So as always, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe, the current UK. They're the biggest online beer store in the UK. The selection is vast, covering the globe, so go and check them out. Oh my goodness. There we go. She is poured into the glass and look at that. My goodness me, that is a beautiful, beautiful colour. Wow, it is a sort of rich toffee orange colour and it is hazed to bubbery. There is, um, there is nothing showing through the glass. So to me, that is appealing. There are a lot of people that don't like them uh, murky or hazed like this uh, and that's fine but personally I think it adds character to a beer and especially a beer like this. So yeah, it's formed a bit of a head, there is some carbonation in there forming, uh, rolling up the glass, it's formed a nice sort of off-white head, you can smell the smoke from here. Oh, this is going to sound strange, but um, but I'm getting like a, a a holiday smell about this, and that sounds really odd to say it out loud, but it reminds me of being in Greece and where the uh, where the rocks and sand have been baked all day, and then in the evening. Uh, yes, it's still warm and the smell of them sort of hot rocks and that sea breeze is kind of what I'm smelling in the, in this. It, it's nice and it sounds strange to say it out like that as well as this lovely oaky smokiness which is very much um, reminding me of a, of a, a good whiskey. It just smells beautiful. Anyway, guys, let's give it a let's give it a try. See what we think about it. Cheers. Wow. That is uh, that is actually a pleasure to. To taste, I've, I've tasted nothing like this before, and that is that is really good to be able to taste something that you have never tasted before in a beer. Those of you that drank many smoked ales <clears throat> will already know this, but for this being my first. When I get a smoked ale, I would associate the smokiness to um, a porter or a stout, the sort of um, the sort of roasty smokiness you get in that. But it's not what you're getting in this. It's very much like a real nice peaty smoke whiskey that's been in an, an oak barrel and uh, matured. It, that is the predominantly what's hitting me first 
with this. But to go with that, you've got a real nice, slightly sweet maltiness that runs through it. There's a touch of almost like a tangerine or an orange zest that's that's running through it as well, which, which all sort of freshens up that smoke. I think if it was really dry, the smoke would be too much. Uh, but the, the sort of residual sweetness in it with this tangerine-y orange zest is working really well with the smoke. My goodness, that is it's odd. It's strange because uh, it's, it's something I've never tasted before, but it's good. Slightly grassy on the back end of the hops. Um, a nice sort of hint of bitterness at the back end, but, um, but really it's sort of it's there but not noticeable it sort of blends in well with the with what's happening with the smoke so bittering is 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 low and that is probably good for this you know what it's drinkable but would i want to drink them one after the other no i probably wouldn't um just because for me it is like a unique beer that I'd probably pick out uh, every now and then just to sort of uh, kick things up from the norm of pails, IPAs, stouts etc. Um, I'd probably just sort of chuck this in the mix every now and then just to uh, have something different. I think it works well. I think it works well. The only thing I can probably think that's possibly a bit of a negative with it is the smokiness is bordering on some sort of medical uh, like medical cleaning solution overall I do like it I do like the uh, the PT whiskey smokiness that runs through the beer I like the fact that it's got good residual sweetness that sort of um, cuts through that smoke as well as this tangerine orange zest which freshens things up uh, because there ain't a lot of bitterness in it to, to do that. All in all I've enjoyed that and I would say if you want to get something that's different something that you probably won't have tasted before I would say if you had this it'd be something that you'd um, I think it'd be a style of beer that most of us wouldn't have had or had a lot. So I would definitely say go and check this uh, beer out. Go and uh, go and get one. Try it. Just because it's sort of boggling my mind a little bit. But don't take my word for it. Make up your own goddamn mind. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. That is good. Chamomile lotion, is it? I don't know. That medical scrubby medical taste anyway guys I like it so as always I will leave a link directly below to where you can pick this beer up at beersofeurope.co.uk as well as a link to the main shop go and peruse their stock it is vast covering the globe and that's it oh my goodness so you know what to do guys don't forget to thumb up this video because it's not hard enough. Don't forget to subscribe, little red button down here that says subscribe, click it, you won't miss out on what's coming up next. Share the video, get it out there for all to see. And um, let you into a little secret. Tomorrow we are brewing. Oh, God, a lot. <laughs> so that's it, fellas. I'm out of here.